Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today is a quick tip video. On the 21st of June, 2019, I upgraded to the new version of iTunes. And once I did that, I could not burn discs anymore, CD discs anymore for my car. I tried, and every time I put a disc in there, it would start writing it and reject it, give me an error message, rendering the disc unusable. I could not use it for anything else anymore. It was screwed. So I had no problem, no idea what was going on with iTunes. I tried three discs, and every single time I just kept getting this error, and I kept ruining discs. So I found a way around this to get you to burn your music onto a CD. Just right click on your desktop, new folder, just call it new folder. Drag and drop all of these files into this folder. Doesn't matter if they're MP3s, uh, paid iTunes music files. Just drag them all into the folder. Fire up Windows Media Player. Hide all these files. Right click, add to Windows Media Player list. So let's create a new list, playlist here. Let's call my name, Ron. Now on these, highlight all of these Music files, drag them into the playlist. Hide all these files. And now we're burning our CD. This is the only way I found around this, is to do this work around until iTunes gets this problem fixed with iTunes for Windows. So I have no, no idea what's going on with iTunes. I've used iTunes for many, many years. I think when it first came out, I started using iTunes. This is going back years and years ago. And I was always burning CDs for my car because I don't have an MP3 player in my car. It's just an old-fashioned old CD player. And this is the only way I found to work around this, is to do it this way. And I was, wasn't sure if iTunes music would actually play or actually burn in the Windows Media Player, but it actually does. It doesn't matter what kind of iTunes music file it is, it will burn and play in Windows Media Player. So I just want to pass along this tip. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.